So I think the best thing about graph databases is this intuitive and super flexible data model. I mean, the one thing is really just just about that performance factor. You know, graph databases can be a lot faster uh, and a lot easier to understand when you have data that's that's highly connected. It was the first database or any data store that I'd used where it felt quite natural the way you were storing it, and it was actually fun. It didn't feel like a real pain to use. One of the things that I really love about uh, we, about, about Neo4j, we were able uh, to run all kinds of interesting queries and find out relationships that's not apparent uh, immediately. It may even be better than sliced bread. We saw that all the, the, the pain was getting away and all the joins we, we needed to do on a relational database system, they were gone. And it was actually quite easy to, to do those kind, kind of things in uh, Neo4j. Uh, because I thought it was powerful, it was a completely new way for me, you know, to, to understand data. And at the same time, it was very, you know, it was very beautiful. I was so surprised of how easy data modeling works and especially how you can query those data using Cypher. Our search runs all of that stuff in like just under a couple of hundred milliseconds and there's absolutely no chance we could do that without uh, Neo4j. Firstly, I have to say I do love graphs and love graph, graph databases. Um, really love Neo4j and, and all the, the work that I've done with it and with the customers of Neo over the last few years. When I started working with Neo4j, I, I was blown away by the, uh, the data structures, the access paths that you could take through your data. It, it opened up ways of looking and, and working with the data that a SQL database just couldn't give you. It's a more natural uh, and flexible approach for, for data modeling if you're using a graph because you can uh, represent uh, the, the aspects of the reality in, in a better way. I was fascinated with this idea that um, you could have a data model where the logical and physical model were, were the same. With Neo4j, you, you didn't really have to work against the database. It was, it was as far as like modeling and um, data abstraction.